Hello everyone, welcome to another Sunday with Kids at Harvest. I'm so grateful to have you here today. My name is Miss Sophia and this is Miss Chantel. Hey guys, we're so happy to have you here. Before we get into our lesson for today, we have to go over the candies. Alright, so are you ready? If you're ready, say ready. Alright, sounds like you guys are ready, so let's get right into it. Alright, so candy number one is I can listen at all times. Candy number two is I can always have a positive attitude. Candy number three is I can always use my healthy hands. Candy number four is I can only speak nice into my mouth. And candy number five, our favorite, is I can have an awesome time. Yes, this is so exciting. We can have an awesome time. Before we get started though, we have to go and have some praise time. So let's head over and have some praise and we'll be right back. I'm Miss Amber and I'm Tahila and welcome back to another week of praise. praise. So this week we are singing two songs and the first song is Father Abraham and I'm in right out right upside down. Are you guys ready? All right, let's get to it. One, two, three. Father Abraham has many sons and many sons has Father Abraham and I am one of them and so are you. So let's just praise the Lord bright arm. Father Abraham has many sons. And many sons has Father Abraham, and I am one of them, and so are you. So let's just praise the Lord, right arm, left arm. Father Abraham has many sons, and many sons has Father Abraham, and I am one of them, and so are you. So let's just praise the Lord, right arm, left arm, nod your head, Father Abraham. Has many sons, and many sons has Father Abraham, and I am one of them, and so are you. So let's just praise the Lord. Good job, boys and girls. Now it's time for song number two. Are you guys ready? Let's get started. Ready? One, two, three. I'm in right out, right up, right down, right happy all the time. I'm in right out, right up, right down, right happy all the time. Since Jesus Christ came in and washed away my sins. I'm in right out, right up, right down, right happy all the time. Faster! I'm in right out, right up, right down, right happy all the time. I'm in right out, right up, right down, right happy all the time. Since Jesus Christ came in and washed away my sins. I'm in right out, right up, right down, right happy all the time. Faster! I'm in right up, right up, right down, right happy all the time. I'm in right up, right up, right down, right happy all the time. Since Jesus Christ came in and washed away my sins. I'm in right up, right up, right down, right happy all the time. Slow motion. I'm in right out, right up, right down, right happy all the time. I'm in right out, right up, right down, right happy all the time. Since Jesus Christ came in and washed away my sins, I'm in right out, right up, right down, right happy all the time. Give me speed up, right up, right up, right up, right down, right happy all the time. I'm in right out, right up, right down, right happy all the time. Since Jesus Christ came in and washed away my sins, I'm in right out, right up, right down, right happy all the time. Good job, boys and girls. Thank you guys so much for joining us. For Welcome back boys and girls, we have a fun activity for you. The activity is called highs and lows. So what's gonna happen is, see this board? At the top, it has our highs, and at the bottom, it has our lows. So the red, uh, the pink stickies has our lows, and the yellow ones have our highs. So let's get started. This sounds fun, all right, I'm gonna start. A high for me is family. A low for me is getting sick. I don't like being sick. Yeah. Can anyone else think of any highs and lows? Great. You guys sound like you have some amazing guesses going on. So, getting um, having to deal with the bullies at school, that's a low. Getting good grades is a high. Getting hurt is a low. 
Getting a special treat is a high. Having to have no TV is a low. Having toys is a high. No gifts is a low. Having friends is a high. Ha being in trouble is a low. Getting to do crafts is a high. And when you lose something, that's a low. And when you get to have iPad time, that's a high. So, both notice how life always has good and bad things. But I want to ask you guys, notice this line here. What do you think this line in the middle means? Those are some great guesses. So, we have a verse in 1 Thessalonians where Paul speaks to the Christians. And here's how it goes. Give thanks no matter what happens. God wants you to thank Him because you believe in Christ Jesus. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 18. Now, do you know what this line represents? Right, this line represents to be thankful. Thankfulness doesn't change no matter our highs or lows in life. It remains constant. Exactly. If you believe in Jesus, that means that you've received the gift. A big gift. It means that you have a relationship with God that lasts forever. And you know what that means? You know that Jesus died on the cross for you. Right. Jesus died to pay the price for the things that you might do in your past and the things that you're going to do in the future that you don't even know about. Guess what? He gave Because of Jesus, we have the gift of forgiveness. He gave us that free gift for us. When you remember that and you recognize that, it's impossible not to be thankful. That's right. If you believe in Jesus, that means that you can do exactly what Paul says and be thankful no matter what. Why? Because Jesus, you know all that Jesus has done for you. You could be having the greatest day of your life. You, everything could be going so great. Or you could have a hard day where things don't seem to go well at all. Or it could be like most days where you have a little bit of everything. That's right. No matter what, your thankfulness can remain strong and steady because you know what Jesus has done for you. Being thankful is part of following Jesus. When you choose to be thankful, your relationship will carry you through all the ups and lows in life. It will bring you something that is so amazing. It brings you joy. That's right. When you believe in Jesus, you have joy. All right, do you guys remember what Paul said? Give thanks no matter what. God wants you to thank him because you believe in Christ Jesus. When you follow Jesus, you always have something to be thankful for. 1 Thessalonians 5.18 Let's thank Jesus right now. Bow your heads and close your eyes. Lord Jesus, we thank you for dying on the cross for us, Lord God. We pray, Lord Jesus, that you'll help us be more thankful every day. In your name we pray, amen. Amen. All right, boys and girls, that's it for this week. We'll see you next week. Bye.